because Nika doesn't have a microphone. This time, we will be your instructor. Let's see what's the topics for today. Part 1. Get to know anime style coloring. Part 2. Tools and their setting in Clip Studio Paint. Part 3. Percent of the world. この動画はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。Anime style coloring or cell shading is a way of coloring similar to anime, which applies simple shading with a blending to make it easy to animate. But you can use other tools like gradient or effect. Furthermore, you can use filters to create the atmosphere. Since this style of coloring is very eye-catching, it isn't only used in animation but also illustration. Its pros are easy to do, less time-consuming, can be easily adapt and apply, can be developed to the style of coloring. Before you start, you should get to know the tools first, so you work with this. We will introduce the tool based on the step of work. Start with sketching and lining. In Clip Studio Paint, the tools will be categorized along with sub tools. The tools for drawing are in the same category. We suggest you try different pen and pencil too, and use the one that suits you. Use pencil tools for sketching, and pen tools for the line. It's up to you. You can also download more pen and pencil from Keep Studio Asset. Besides, there are varieties of brushes for you to use. For example, an airbrush for making simple gradient or shape brush for making pattern. When the lining is done, you will use the pen tool and the fill tool to color. We will also use the pen tool that gives a solid opacity line like G pen for example. For fill tool, you will mainly use left for only to editing layer and left for the layer. Let's see the fill tool setting for a bit. If you check apply to connect pixel only, it will fill the connected area. But if you uncheck it, it will not fill the connected area but the same color of the layer. For example, if you click on the blue area, if you feel only blue area in the layer with the color you choose. Next is cost gap. If set to zero while filling and there are gaps between the area, they will also be filled. But if increase the setting, it won't be go over small gaps. But if set it too high, it won't be filled heavily in the small areas. Area scaling will allow you to feel a little bit more over the edge. It will help cover the edge between color and line. The deep set is too high. If you feel over the edge too much, please be careful. And this is scaling mode as well. You should try it. Level multiple will allow you to refer to other layers. Use this when lying in the line layers and coloring separately in the color layers. Its options are 1. All layers will refer to every layer. Reference layer will only refer to a layer that you set as reference. 3. Selected layer will only refer to the layer you select. Finally, layer in folder will refer only to the layers in the current folder. Please use them as you see fit. Look at the default tool that Keep Studio Paint provides. The only difference between refer only to editing layer and refer other layer is the usage of refer multiple, right? When you distinctly separate the tools, they will be easier to use. So you don't need to change the setting every time. You can also change the opacity of the color. And finally, anti-aliancing will sort the edge of the diagonal line. 
Next is Auto Select, or you usually call it Magic Wand. It's a tool for selection like the Fill tool. It's like filling but selecting. So the settings are similar to the Fill tool. Now you know the tool to make our work easier. Let's make our own custom tool. And those two are... Color Replace tool and Color Select tool. The goal is to make them a fill tool and a color selection tool that doesn't care about the threshold. For example, if you want to change a specific color in the whole image, or make a selection on a specific color to draw in. To make your own custom tool, start with select the default tool to make a prototype. Then click Create a copy of currently selected sub tool, and you will get another new tool. You can rename and change icon and color. Now you got a new tool. Let's change the setting. We want to fill all the specific colors in the image. So you uncheck Apply to connected pixels only. To save the setting you've done, open the sub to detail and click Save all settings as default. After saving, if you accidentally change the setting and can't remember the default setting, just click Reset all settings to default. Now you know the tool and create our own tool. Next, you will see the step of coloring. It won't be difficult to understand. We have prepared the sketch, but before we go on with lining, we will make a guide for shading first. The advantage of sketching is that you spend little time to do it, and you will forget on the direction of line and shade. So, no worry about the color. When the shading is done, let's move on with lining. We will use the vector layer for the lining. The vector layer is different from the raster layer. Raster layer will record the color in pixel, so the line will consist of many pixels. While the vector layer will record the direction of the line, which can be drawn or edited by pens or brushes. But some effects like bending cannot be applied to the vector layer. Now back to the lining. To make you see the difference, we're doing two types of lining with G pen and real pencil. For those who like the handmade artistic, use the pencil. But if you want to be sharp and graphic like, you can use the G pen. You can find the tools to adjust the lines in the weighted layer in the link in the video's description.
When the lining is done, it's time for coloring. Begin with creating a raster layer and put it below the lining layer. Then, use fill tool for the base color. Use refill the layers to fill the area of the lining layer. To prevent the white spot between the layer, there are an option fill up the better part from fill tool. Instead of calculating from the color that this is the end, it will calculate the vector line. If you look at the detail, there's an include vector part checkbox as well. If you check it, it will fill the center of the line. If you draw in the existing collector, you can use subview to show the image and use the color picker to get the same color. This is more convenient than open many images and switching between them. If you want to change a specific color to another, you can use the new fill tool to easily change the color. Now, you can try coloring all you want without the hustle. But be careful, if you set the anti-aliasing, the color must go over the edge. If you don't like it, you can undo before fill it again. Now the base color is done, Nick is shading. If you determine the direction of the light and shade when you sketch it, you can do the shading accordingly. Let's do it! First, you need to create a new raster layer. It will be more convenient if you keep the sketch layer, the lining layer, and the coloring layer into the separate folders and set the refurbment port layer in folder in the fill tool. This will help a lot in filling the color. Then select the pen tool that have a solid opacity line so you can fill the color eventually. Then draw the line to divide the shade according to the sketch. Use the color you want then use the pen to draw the line for the shading area or if you see some area that can be color, do it. You can also use the fill tool along this step. You can adjust this as you see fit. 
because it was just a guy when you sketch it. If there is room for improvement, do it. But you should still use the sketch as a reference. To prevent going over the edge, let's use the new selection tool that you created. After you have finished shading, highlighting is next. The process is the same, but create the new layer so it can be easy to edit.
Telling in an anime style is not complicated, so there won't be many layers. The layers should be named and categorized, so it would be easy to find. Since there are not many layers with simple coloring, you can use the select tool to easily select the area you want to adjust. But if you want to make a very detailed work, you can create more layers later. But today we are taking it easy first. Now you got the color you want. Let's add more detail to the image. First, let's make those cheeks pink. For this step, select the skin layer, then create a new layer and lightly use the air brush around cheeks and where you want to add some pink gradient. If you want to add a gradient in other parts like hair or clothes, just do it lightly. You can also use blending mode for layers to adjust the color like overlay or soft light. Then, use the air brush tool to lightly make a gradient. Now the character is done. Let's make a background. For those who are not familiar with drawing the background, you can find or use patterning or blushes. They can be found in the application's materials. If you want to use the background or patterns, just drag them from material and drop on the image. Then use the object tool to adjust them to your heart content. You can also download more of them from Chris Studio Assets. If you use Japanese keyword to searching in Cube Studio Assets, you will get more results. Or you can check form tag and use its nick term. After downloading, they will be in the download section of the material. Other than adding the background, you can add something more on the upper part of the image, like sparkle, petals, or patterns.
when you add background, you might need to adjust its color to get along with the character. Instead of recoloring, you can use layer adjustment. The commonly used options are tone curve, color balance, hue, saturation, lightness, etc. This time, we will adjust a bit, not to make them too contrast. If you have sort out the layer while using layer adjustment, you can adjust the character color easily with the clipping layer option. For those who like a sharp image, this is it. But if you think it's kinda dull and want to make the image softer, let's do the following. Use merge visible to new layer. Command to merge all the layers in a new layer. And make a duplicate. Then apply Gaussian Spur on top layer as much as you want. Then decrease the opacity by about 20 to 40 percent. You will get a softer image. Select the duplicate layer and change its branding mode to screen. Use the tone curve command and adjust the curve down. Then, apply Gaussian blur to make it more glowy in the bright area. And then, decrease the opacity by about 20 to 40 percentage. Furthermore, you can create a new layer and change its blending mode to screen and use the air button to apply the bright color around the edge of the image to make it look like their light shine through. This will lighten up the atmosphere. After all the detailing, the image is done. You can see that coloring in anime style doesn't need a lot of technique. It can be easily done with a few tool. And it will be easier if you know how to create your own tools. You all should try it. And for today. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. If you like our video, please like and subscribe.